Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So let's chat briefly. So sadly, we had to end the other stream due to technical issues. Mostly just connecting to the server, but today it looks fine. So basically, we're just going to see who's around, and whoever's here will basically determine the quest that we do. Um, I guess I'm open to some Psycho Wan runs before the event closes with the rare enemy plus the other combo. So people are interested in those. I don't mind hosting some of those. I think as we get towards maybe two weeks from now, I think it'll be XP week. So we'll try to help people that are not quite level 80 to get to level 80. So definitely do not feel bad. You could even literally make a brand new character on the day that we do those streams. As long as you're willing to dedicate three to five hours, we could probably get you almost all the way to 80, if not 80, depending on what uh, is active at the time. So I guess I'll do some warm-ups before uh, people trickle in, but if there's anybody here that wants to do specific runs, by all means, let me know. Also, I went to play the Sonic Racing game stuff, and I realized this soundtrack is really short, as in it's only gonna last less than 30 minutes, and... We're already at song number 9 out of 12. <laughs> Actually, 30 minutes is an exaggeration. I don't even think it's last 15 minutes. So enjoy Sonic Drift for like the 5 minutes that will be recorded. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. So while we wait for people, we might as well do a little more. Hopefully everybody out there is doing well. Thank you all again for the support. I think there was a question or comment at least on my YouTube asking me when I'm going to do the ultimate guide. Well, I definitely felt burnout after December, so I did not really want to touch it in January. So probably post Valentine's event, I will formalize a video. As I was like, I, I was not kidding when I said I was absolutely not going to touch PSO, and I really didn't. Rangers, human males. Oh, it's time for the Ramar. Welcome in, Parameter. Hope you're doing well. It's gonna say, Ramar users, rise up. Today is your day. This character is pretty close to leveling. We're also pretty close to even beat, so that'll open up episode four. I definitely do not mind hosting episode four in any capacity. Let me know in Parameter what you would like to do after we're done with the solo run here. We'll give time for people to kind of trickle in. I think when it transitions over to rare item up, I think that'll benefit if you're looking for Rambling May, based off of yesterday's conversations. So I think no matter what, you're just kind of win-win if you want it, so I don't mind doing some uh, RT, TTF, Rambling May, slash technically off chance at Magical Stone or Artista. It still benefits from rare enemy up. So I am open to quite a lot of things once it goes to rare item up. The only thing I don't really want to do is level people during it, just because it is a higher than normal bonus. I could have arguably leveled people during the rare enemy up. If there's technically enough people here, I could do it for like two hours. But I doubt you would hit a substantial level, unfortunately. Uh, Cannon Rouge? Weird. Must not have lined up correctly. So I think it already finished the soundtrack, if you could believe it. Pop the boxes. Mono grinder. I should probably pick that up. So we're already going to have to switch it over to another soundtrack. Again, to me, it's really funny. The whole soundtrack was less than 20 minutes. So fortunately, I have a few booted up for the future. We're now in Sonic Drift 2. So 
So yeah, we'll see who stops by. I know Tiggy right now is streaming. Shout out to Tiggy. I think Hell Cleave mentioned he'll stop by at some point. As I said before, I'm pretty flexible. I just want to make sure people have a good time at the end of the day. And my go-to is to just do a TTF while I'm waiting for people. Art of Renov, 303 SNR. I don't even know what that is. 303? Why can I not picture what this weapon is? I, I think of like Rianov 5. Where is the 303 coming from? Hmm. I'll have to look that up later. I mean, I'm not interested in getting a weapon skin, don't get me wrong. I'm just more curious what weapon that actually is. I don't think it's a meta weapon. Like, in the slightest. I probably, probably don't recognize it. Um. I guess I could shift her to avoid miss if one of my shots misses. Missing the kill. Oh yeah, that was way more consistent. I mean, I guess I could Cannon Rouge again. Otherwise, I mean, as I said before, Rare Enemy Week is probably my least favorite week. I, I will probably slip in some Episode 4 Yellows, just because. Yeah. So I think it said 3, right? 303 SNR-3, or was I just imagining that and I was just blurring the numbers? Welcome, Helkly. That's why I was like, what gun is that? Because I think of the Rianov 5 from, uh... What's it called? Dragon Boss. Yeah, one more shot should do. Goodbye. So are there any runs you want to do, Helkly? I'm just warming up with the TTF. Yeah, so like, what's what's the number one version? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming it's also a rifle. What even drops it normally? Man, this gun is just dumb. Why charge Vulcan? It's also a rare monster if we want to lean into that. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of whatever. Honestly, I'm seeing that there's about 10 beats until it's episode 4. So I'm thinking Pew Pew Laser, unless people have a priority. As I'm thinking, if it transitions over... I forget if it's at 7 or 8 o'clock. I always forget. Because time zones are weird. Um, We would then just do some episode 2, just because, on Red ID, to get uh, Rambling May chances from Parameter. Yeah, what's 303 SNR NAR specifically? Well, that was nasty. It's 7? Okay. We have enough time to do a couple episode 4s, and then we'll switch over to uh, something else, I think, then. Let let's do episode 4 once I'm done with the TTF, because we have to wait for the even beat anyway. Unless we feel like starting the quest early. Now, the question is, outside of doing at least one yellow ID run, are there any IDs in Episode 4 the team would like? And technically, we could just keep doing Even Beat Episode 4 after that. But I do want to make sure Imperameter gets an extra chance at Rambling May. Technically, last time, we got really close to getting it. Like, we got the rare enemy and everything. But we'll probably switch over to Rappies. Because I want to make sure people that are definitely frequenters of the stream get some choice here. For me personally, I think I'm just looking for Heaven Striker Cannon Rouge. Speaking of Cannon Rouge, hope if I had the gun out. Safety heal. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't even know what drops the original one. I'm curious which one specifically drops 303 SNR, like what hunt that is. <laughs> I don't think I've ever picked it up, whatever it is. 
I've seen maybe like SNR hyphen one before. Because I remember trying to figure out if that was the good one or not. And even good is used in a very loose sense. Yeah. So I guess if... I never really looked at all the models, but if all the models look basically the same, then that makes sense. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, wait, no. Shotgun. <laughs> Shotgun did not get the second input. I'm glad it did not take that. I definitely pressed twice, chat. I'm really happy it didn't take that input. Saved by mistiming. That is a pretty clean Rafoe, not gonna lie. No, 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 I'm not interested in the heart of it. I mean, like, the original. It, is there one without a hyphen one? That's what I'm asking, because the way you said it, you said they're different items, so that's why I'm confused. Unless you just mean that there's the heart of is different from SNR1. In which case, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I thought you meant more that there is something without the uh, serial number. Which had me confused. But if that's what you meant, then whatever. I don't care what drops it. I I'm never doing that hunt, that's all I know. <laughs> if I get a heart of item, it is mostly unintentional. Well, that is really unfortunate that uh, I did not target the sorcerer properly there. That is really unfortunate. Oh well, we'll deal with that later. Uh Seriously? Go away. Where is the sorcerer going? Oh boy. I mistargeted once, I got punished hard. It is just doing whatever it wants. So it's gonna say, please stop teleporting in place. Thank you. Damn, if I had Yashminikov with just, like, slightly better dark percentage... Would've killed. Anyway, back to our normally scheduled kill pattern. Pazuzu, Delrapi, and Kondryu on very hard. Interesting. I think that makes sense. I don't usually play green ID into that. That makes sense, why I haven't seen it. an easy kill. That's silly how easy that is, chat. I'm gonna continue with my hot take from the other time. I really do feel like I get more, way more use out of Yashminikov than I do Charge Vulcan on Ranger. On other Hunters, absolutely. I love the damage. But like on Ramar... I just kind of want the range most of the time, or to not burn all my cash constantly. <laughs> just pick one, I enjoy both. Or I'm just kind of like, uh, yeah, just kind of want something useful versus falls. Oops, my aiming is bad today. How did that not give me invincibility? I'm so disappointed. I took the damage on purpose, by the way, because I'm like, oh, I could just be invincible and just ignore all the spinners. Nope. Denied. So sad. I want to test something compared to before. So I'm going to bring in the Heaven Striker for this. I'm really curious. Yeah, that's much faster. Okay, I was just curious if for like in solo play, if I just use the special to target but either the head or the other portions, whether that was faster than Yashminikov, and even with all zero, that was way faster. So at least I have like a a test point to kind of compare the two. I'm too afraid to special there though, because of the spinners. I guess that's something I should do more is the force. I should just pop a Gafoe to try to deal with those. That is not my soul atomizer. I'll take the Charmate though.
recover this. Stupid boss. <laughs> right, Chan? I don't think so. So I'm pretty close to leveling. Can almost permanently put V801 on my character with no downside. Uh, I probably should have just trimated there to save myself some time. I think I did a misplay there. Okay, yeah, I definitely did a misplay then. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple fireballs here. Ooh, I got short cycled. Really? Damn, that sucks. You know what? No. <laughs> you waste my time, I waste your time, game. Stupid short cycle. <sighs> How am I- am I really out of fluid? That sucks. <sighs> so unfortunate. Wow. Another short cycle. So brutal. What a waste of time, chat. <laughs> this is what I call a waste of time. The boss is wasting our time officially. Thanks, game. Please stay near me so I can kill you at a reasonable pace. Wow, the miss on the second hit. Come on, seriously? Okay, that's a little better. Okay, there we go. So unfortunate. I lost, like, at least almost 40 seconds, no exaggeration, that was horrible. But hey, we cleared it. Yeah, I should have been greedier with the heal in the beginning, because that would have let me do about a thousand more damage. And that alone would have saved me about five seconds. But yeah, missing, missing that second shot was so painful. Oh well. So we are four beats from basically even beat shenanigans. I guess that's good enough to do it. So I guess the question to the chat is, do you prefer me to bring in purple first or yellow ID first? Do you want to do some pods or do some regular episode four clears? Because honestly, I think I'm starting to warm up a little bit to yellow ID. Some yellow ID runs, to be honest with you, on uh, ultimate. I feel like I basically never touched them before. And now I'm kind of like, yeah. Galatine or Daylight Scar with a mix of Lieutenant Mantle and uh, other things is kind of nice. Also, seriously, is the other soundtrack also over? That is like the shortest soundtracks I've ever heard. They're not even like 30 minutes. We're not talking NES games. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. You vote for regular runs? What does that mean? Oh boy, Sonic R chat. Does regular mean boss rush episode four or do you want a different quest while it's rare enemy? Oh, regular yellow. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we could do those. So I think my yellow IDs are my raw cast. So I'll bring in my raw cast. So I don't think I need to put anything away here. We're still before even beat, so I'm not in a super rush here yet. The only thing I'm going to do is recover my items and then get the cash. Yeah, I, I, I could have been much greedier there and saved some time. I gotta, I gotta feel the greed more. So what I could do is C bank three preemptively, and I'll bring in a raw cast for big damage. So yeah, let's do some yellows just because you know Galatine is kind of nice. And honestly, even if it transitions over to rare item, I'm still kind of okay with that. So yeah. I think I've been sleeping on yellow ID and other choices. And I would not mind another heavenly power. Wait, does this character not have simple chat? They do. Weird. I guess I don't have the quit to menu set up on that other character. I'll fix that later. My lobby command worked, but I don't see the quick game. Oh well. 
to fix that in uh, Joy to Key, I think, specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and boot into Yellow ID. I'm going to be bringing in... <laughs> if I brought in the Humar, I think chat would revolt. Uh, let's level the Rock House a little bit. He's almost 180. So him having a uh, Red Ring would be humongous. Because I already have so much fun with him. And I don't even think he's max ATP yet. So... Be kind of nice. He's close though. He's he's at least more ATP than Ramar. That's all that matters. Cannon Rouge, Heaven Striker, Charge Arms. Should be good here. So let's go ahead and make an episode four game. Can you feel the sun sun chat? So game is up. We got about a beat before it technically starts. Uh, I guess I could just get Twin Blaze just because. Yeah, let's get Twin Blaze. That'll be fun. I should learn to use this weapon properly to save time. Oh. Oh, there it is. Uh, the other thing I want, I think, for the groove is probably V502. So I guess I could technically get rid of the Heavenly Power I just put on for it. Because I think uh, me paralyzing people could be pretty useful. Otherwise, it's Charge Arm City. So we'll give chat a few seconds to join, or at least say that they're about to join. I'm bringing in four escape dolls, a couple healing items. I think I'm just going to shut down some enemies with some good old Spread Needle V502 action. And then whatever I think is more annoying, I guess I could practice instant trap shooting with freeze traps. Oh, we have a, we have a force. Nice. That's always nice. Yeah, let's do a regular run. So rare enemy, and even just rare up in general is both useful. So if nothing else, this is like almost like rare enemy, not rare enemy, it's like rare item week almost by itself with three people. But please let us know, people in the chat, if you want to hop in. We will carry you. We do not care if you're level 80, I promise you. I do not care at all, especially during this event. You know what? I will confuse trap them, though, just to annoy them. Interesting he doesn't instant shoot the uh, trap with shotgun, so I guess maybe only Vulcans are that accurate? Hmm. Disappointing. Yeah, we're pretty close to the pew pew. Now we're pew pew o'clock. Uh oh, chat. Are you living in the city? I realized also I forgot to bring a melee weapon, but you know what? Twin Blaze? Good enough. Pew Pew is now live. Oh, E502, you failed me. I tried. I definitely hit the special to just try to stop the charge, but not quite. Oh well, at least I know these next four are basically dead. Ooh, a miss. Oh, see, that's where I need Red Ring. That miss right there would not have happened with Red Ring. Almost guaranteed. Yeah, see, I'm at 85%. Hmm. Although I just realized, I think he still has Ranger Wall on, so I don't think that makes a difference. Rescind the comment. They'll still have that accuracy issue, but that's okay. Uh, I'll put down a uh, fire trap. I got nothing better to do. Deleted. Deleted. I 
that Dorfond just got absolutely deleted. Goodbye. I saw demons on one, the other was all, uh, pretty much all Charge Vulcan. See, this is where Charge Vulcan is useful. Multiplayer. Single player, I'm not convinced. Multiplayer anguish. The amount of convincing increases exponentially. Um. Yeah, like, why does he shoot like that? Oh, that's so disappointing I can't instant trap shoot with shotgun. At least it doesn't seem like it does, because I'm not hitting a direction, he just faces a random way. Unfortunate. Wow, my V502 failed both hits again. I know I just put it on. I'm, I'm very disappointed that the few times I've gone for it, it's completely whiffed. They don't have that, like, great ES... or, yeah, ESP. Might just be missing the percentage, sadly. Put a couple spare fireballs out, because why not? Yeah, like, I, I like it in Episode 4 a lot. I don't know how much I would really use it elsewhere. Keep our healer mostly protected. Take care of the Astark, which is the big problem for the group. Go for the zoo here, because that's the big problem for the group. Look at that. Look how efficient that was. Oh, I got knocked down. There we go. Finally got the paralysis. Fine. Revive and help leave. Can you imagine if I had a spread needle with a percentage? So sad, Chan. One day. I guess that's something else I'll, I'll look forward to eventually. Why is it telling me I could... Oh, that's why. Okay, that should buy the team a lot of time. So yeah, I gotta be a little more aggressive with traps, but at least I'm putting them out there. Goodbye, a star. <laughs> I was trying to put the fire trap just to hit the alley a little faster. Welcome to this. Hopefully you're doing well. If you want to hop in in the next game, let us know. I kind of like playing cast into episode four. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't know. I'm having I'm having a good time. I mean, I get to put freeze traps everywhere. I don't know if I'm going to be QCAS episode 4 necessarily, but everything else is kind of fun. Let me get back over here. Okay. I got some shutdown. It was a little delayed, but, you know, that's why I put out the V502. Still doing Dreamcast trouble troubleshooting. What are you looking to play on Dreamcast, out of curiosity? I think I saw you mention that in the uh, Discord earlier.
So you gotta be careful with those characters specifically. Asuka dropped, nice. Guess I'll pick it up. I killed with my 45 damage Kapoe. Did it. I know the horrible wave is coming up for the group, and this is where I'm probably gonna have to switch to probably Heaven Striker for the quick shots. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well today. Oops, I did not freeze the one closest to me. That was player fail, but on the plus side, I just kind of restored my traps. No, I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that outcome. I had escaped all on the floor anyway. I was thinking I was going to talk about when I should take an intentional dab because I picked up an extra escape doll, but game decided for me, I guess. Would have liked to have gone maybe one more room before that happened, but that's fine. Wouldn't be too bad if your leg wasn't hurting you today. Oh no, what happened? Was it like lifting, running, bang it into something? Oh, no buffs, a sad world. Old age, oh no. I don't want to go in first because I'm not a force. We do this though. Hmm. I'm seeing a little fault of the raw cast specifically. I'm not able to hit the uh, frozen shooter shot 100% of the time. And I did actually miss there. So it was somewhat relevant. I'm just going to shut down a couple enemies. Go back to charge Vulcan, maybe. Oops. Target went long screen. Okay, that was a decent-ish freeze trap. I don't 100% agree with how I activated it, but it did what I wanted it to do. That's all that matters at the end of the day. I love that I actually shot my Heaven Striker and it didn't get blocked. I'm happy about that. You know what? We'll take that. Ranger win. There we go. Nice little shutdown of Gurdabulu for the team. And now I have so much ATP, I could just bully it from existence. Indeed, it is definitely Rumarl o'clock if you want to do some rare items. You probably have enough time to do a pawn if you're waiting. You got a good idea for that. I'm gonna walk away from the Rappies. Spawn on my foot that will bug me sometimes, but it's really hurting today. My leg is also hurting. I'm just hobbling everywhere at this point. So, like, do you think it's from sleeping funny? Like, where do you, where do you think the pain came from, out of curiosity? Uh, I don't do any damage to these without a Excalibur. I'll pick it up on the next run. So I have something to actually deal with them. Stop teleporting. The bird got actually deleted.
you know, pretty much as long as I take care of the zoo in most of the waves, it pretty much leans to, you know, between Pew Pew Laser and everything else, they'll take care of the other problems. Well, I gotta be careful here. I think that went okay. I froze the people near the caster by some time. And I second guessed myself on the zoo spawn. I play this quest a lot, so like some of it is coming back to me. It's by taking a break. To make life easy. Oh, I'm getting hit by the Goron detonators. Annoying. Stop hitting me. Okay, I'm just gonna bully with ATP. It'll be fine. Let them walk forward a little bit and punish. Oh, that was just brutal. So I guess if I'm playing Rock House, I have to play a bit more forward than I'm used to to get a good freeze trap position. Just fine, like you just gotta adjust to it. And then since I don't have a lot of damage here, I just kinda throw my fire traps out wherever I can. Just to say that I'm helping. It's better than just standing still. There we go. Shut down the Goron detonators, which is a big problem for the team. I think that was done properly. Do a little freeze trap action there. That way, all the stack of Foey will just annihilate the problem. So, I have a lot of freeze traps. I'm going to start burning them. not turn when I wanted it to turn. That was brutal. That's okay. Goodbye, Goron Detonator. Yeah, I mean, so far, I'm having fun with Raw Cast. I know a lot of people complain in the forums. I'll be clear, there are a lot of complaints about Cast. Maybe they mean more like Solo Cast. Solo Class is probably a little awkward. And, you know, I can Paralyze to help the Demon proc occur. So it's kind of interesting that, for once, I have a supportive role as the Raw Cast. Don't need this at all. So no rare enemies at all yet. That's okay if we don't get it. Um, I guess I'll switch to Heaven Striker. I guess that's the right choice. Something I don't normally think about when I do this boss. I'll go kind of diagonal to give the team some chance to catch up. And also be away from the group. Okay, I mean like, oh no, it's Galatine. <laughs> <laughs> right, chat? Oh, oh, darn. Oh, darn. I just get another weapon that I want anyway. We call that the win-win scenario, chat. Ooh, I see a red-eyed he won. I'm going to sacrifice special it, I think. Oh, I oh, oh, I did kill it. Oh, that was so good. Okay, I did my only job. <laughs> so between the force and the raw moral, I'm going to let them handle the other phase. I basically just gotta stand still, look pretty, regen HP. And I'm gonna level off of this, which is nice. Because I'm not quite at max ATP yet. Either. That means I'm within 8 levels of a red ring. So I'm gonna let them do what they need to do. I'm gonna stand still and regen HP. So I don't even need to die mate. Although I should probably wait closer to down here. I have Dolphin, so I'll try to pay attention if somebody activates. I'll just Angel or something. Yeah, getting a free 100 health is kind of nice. So I think I'm out of death range in case something weird happens like this. So 
So even if Omega Laser Beam hits me, it shouldn't matter right now. I heard somebody get Mag Blast just then, even through the Sonic R soundtrack. Just gotta play a little dodging minigame. Regen in more and more. I'm gonna donate. <clears throat> I feel like if somebody's popping the dolphin, they need the damage. Oh, it went down. I tried. Unfortunate. Anyway, time to keep regening HP and just paying attention to the spinners. This is my mini game. I mean, I managed to get almost 200 health this way, so it's kind of working. Hello. Yeah, here, boss. So yeah, nice little Heaven Striker finisher. The so Heaven Striker sped up the first phase. I donated the meter from taking the face from earlier play. I think that went okay. Now I was there to just finish him. So this should level me. Nice. Or extra ATP, a little extra defense, one extra accuracy, nice. There we go. Sadly, no Galatine. I did get a 50 hit Ice Gladius, which is sad. <laughs> So close. Could have been useful. And it went, nah. <laughs> no Galatine. 6,000 Masetta, though. Hmm. Not gonna be mad about that. How many healing items did I use on that quest, out of curiosity? Not many, right? Yeah, not really. I think chat was pretty good at keeping me alive. Big dummy robot not dodging much. I guess I can set up another game. So if Diz would like to hop in, I'm just gonna do some quick shopping. Okay, so while that's up, I'm just gonna run. So I'm gonna put in my character bank the Heavenly Power, then I'm gonna take an Excalibur, so at least I have something to do against the Lizards to speed it a little bit up. I did Twin Blaze a little bit, but it wasn't really required. Gotta be Supersonic Racing Chan. Oh? Did I leave Excalibur on the other character? Oh, that's sad. I thought I put it back in the share bank. Trolled yet again. Uh, I can use the J sword. Technically, I prefer to have something a little better. Oof. Yeah, I left my Excalibur on somebody else. But also Monkey King bar. That is so unfortunate. I did leave it on another character. Oh well. That's why I gotta unlock those other Excaliburs outside of an event. Just to have one permanently. Don't super need Cannon Rouge in this run. I could probably put that away. Frozen Shooter I sometimes use. Oh, he only has a plus five Heaven Striker? That doesn't sound right. I mean, is it at least worth giving a percentage to? Ooh, it's got 25 hit. Oh, he's got my 25 hit. Oh. Makes sense. Rip all the uh, grinders to put in here. I mean, I already felt like its damage was fine, but we'll go further. Okay, made it a little stronger. Ooh, look at that rare rate, 129%. Nasty. That is a above average rare rate. And we're still going for rare enemy. So rare enemy will be things like potentially a daylight scar, could be another cannon rouge, which I'm not gonna say no to. So 
so I'm slightly improved my damage. Although sadly, as I said before, Scowl's on another character. Not worth resetting to go find. I'm assuming chat damage will be high enough. It shouldn't really matter. It is funny, I have the spirit special though. Oh, Pazuzu, hello. That was not a fire trap. Pazuzu dropping me nothing as usual. Thank you, Pazuzu. Lots of gear souls from the chat, though. Nice, nice. 50 hit? Whoa. That's sick. Sick gear soul. Untacked 50. Ooh. Nasty. Anyway, I just paralyzed the Dorfon, so GG to Dorfon. Well, apparently it paid off. That is a super strong 50 hit. Well, 60 hit. <laughs> I was gonna say Fomar Fo Fo having a big smile. Be like, hold on, I got everything I need right here. Young Chris says, have I considered ever trying other servers? Nope. I don't see the reason, especially after the damage cancel fix. I don't see why I would ever play another server. I just don't think they would offer anything of interest at this point. I'm not super interested in custom items, which is like the big appeal for the other servers. And I think from general understanding, I don't agree with how they tried to fix the balance of some things, like an Ultima. Nice photon draw. I've considered other PSO games in general, but not specifically for this one. Oh, they're spread apart. can fail. Oh well, I landed the paralysis. That was the important thing. So that way I checked it to finish it up. Hmm. Pick this up briefly so I can equip this so I can consume this. There we go. I mean, I gotta go pick up the upgrade. Hopefully you're doing well, young Chris. I, I just don't see the appeal. I mean, if somebody really... If someone would have to really sell it to me at this point. Especially starting over after playing for more than five years on a server. That's... To me, that's too big of a change. I would not be interested in it, for sure. But welcome, Dango. Hopefully you're doing well. See, so I would have preferred Excalibur here, but at least I'm doing more than 70. Mission accomplished there, I guess. Guy's automatically dead, they'll need to worry about him. Oh, I wouldn't even go back to the original at this point either. There's just too many quality of life changes that is just. I, I would never appreciate the GameCube version, especially with the. Uh... Lack of custom quests, which help bring variety. Like, custom items I'm not a fan of. Custom quests I'm okay with. Because you gotta keep the content somewhat fresh. But, nah. How did that guy live with 100 health? Uh, I am out of item space to carry this, and this is so awkward. I kinda need this. I'm so sorry, Scape Doll. I don't like dropping you, but I need a photon drop.
So I'm definitely gonna put away Cannon Rouge so I can hold another item. Ready, set, go, chat. Are we at the end of the soundtrack already? Jeez, these racing soundtracks did uh not last very long. Okay, and that sounds like a real song. That's a bit more promising. That sounds like a character select or something. <laughs> apparently it was it was photon drop a clock, apparently, according to the rare items popping up there. Just bop them real quick. Reason for the crown, get easy kills, clean up. Two should be right here. Oh, like slightly off. All right, so that's where I gotta just learn the slightly better position. And just clean everything up there, don't mind me. Okay, I'm gonna come more towards the corner since I know this is the Dwarfon wave after this. So I'm gonna freeze so the team has a chance to move. And after that, it's whatever the team is doing. Oh, I got hit still. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, they did not get stopped near each other. Okay, one paralysis. Two paralysis. Okay. That's an okay recovery. Definitely take that try mate though. 45 hit ripper, rip. Ooh, star atomizer, I'm definitely taking. Gotta make it real, Chan. <laughs> okay, that, that, that felt a little unnecessary on my behalf. I did not have to do that. I could die on purpose to get more traps, thinking about it. It was somewhat useful. Another photon draw. Seems like today has been a good day for those. Speaking of which... Deleted. Deleted. How is he not targetable? Seriously? Whatever. Gifo, we should kill him on the hop. <laughs> I love how the the one that was point blank to me that I froze was the only one I couldn't shoot. It was kind of unlucky, to be honest with you. It didn't even look like he was in a jumping animation, to be honest. It's kind of unfortunate. I can't hit him. He's at a weird angle relative to me. Oh well. More fire traps. Ooh. Now that was a good shutdown at the end. I like that. I'll let chat just kind of do the demons and whatever, and I'm like, I'm just gonna paralyze. Okay, so I can't go in this room first. I don't have a bar down. I mean, I guess I could try to believe it hit with Spread Needle, but I don't think it's going to happen. I definitely don't want to go in first. Ooh, I like that double paralysis. That was kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. Freeze me, get out of here. Thank you, chat, for the heal. Hmm. 
I could confuse trap them, but they're not going to live long enough for it to be useful. I guess that is the downside of, uh... Can I really not hold a power material either? Jeez, I have too many bad items in my inventory. I mean, I'd, uh, I I kind of want the Gazan, but not enough that I drop another item that I'm holding. So I shut that down pretty quick, at least. Shut that down. I'm going to walk away a little bit, but I need to pick that up before I go further. I guess I could get rid of Teletypes in the run. I guess they're not really mandatory. I'll take the Gazan level 29 over the power material. I don't like making that decision, but I'll, like, I'm completely out of room. So we're, we're going to put away some items after we're done with this run, so I don't have to make that choice anymore. Oh, they hit me on the third hit. Throw off my tempo. If I zoom... Goodbye, go on detonator. Uh, oh, I guess because he got hit before he lowered. I was like, how did that miss? Unfortunate. Another escape doll. I could die on purpose. Hmm. Please stop hitting me before I can paralyze. This is so sad. Thank you. <laughs> that was so rude. Okay, I got my revenge on them at least. Double escape dolls, can't pick any of them up. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these weapons. I'm holding too much. So good boy, cannon rouge, twin blaze, because I don't need it while I'm with the group. I kinda use everything here except I guess I could remove frozen shooter, technically. I don't like need it, need it. Kind of a nice to have. They kill me, I got escape doll. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> I'll just kind of say checkmate to them if they kill me. I'm like, okay. I'll have one more free strap that I'm expecting. So done. Look at that raw damage coming towards the Gardevoir. I almost feel bad. Almost. So yeah, we'll switch to Heaven Striker, which I did beep up a little bit. So I do have Mag Blast to assist if people want to launch it. Otherwise, I'll just use it on the boss later. Damn, all those grinders I could have been able to pick up had I not been full on inventory. So annoying. Yeah, I kind of like walking diagonal here. That way it leaves me a little further away from everybody. Okay, another chance of Galatine? Sure. Is this consistent? Is this always like this over here? Wow, if so, that's kind of unfair if I could get that every time. I'm going to believe in you, chat. I think you got this. I don't think I need to do anything. Boy Money says, Sometimes I get comments on my video by people who really hate Aphidia. 
Oh, by the troll face. Welcome, Void Money. Hopefully you're doing well. I don't think I've gotten those so far. I've had comments that might be that, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm definitely just gonna wait here. Got nothing better to do. You're doing great, good to hear. Take the prevailed advertisement for other servers. I just don't see the point in griefing it. it. It's one thing if they're like, have you tried this other server? What do you think of it compared to Aphidia? Like, it's one thing if it's like kind of phrased that way, but I don't know. Yeah, but for me, I'm like, nah, it's just too many years invested. There's no reason for me to do it. Slightly out of sync. Unfortunate. Not saved. Oh, no. Save. Saved. Oh, the other side got is not popped. Interesting. Uh, That's awkward. I'm Last time it was the other side that was not popped. Well. Oh, never mind. It's because it, it technically died transition, but I can't hit it yet. Okay, that explains why it's not on the right side. That explains it. That makes more sense to me. I'm like, I didn't think it could be on the other side. And I'm like, oh, sense now. I'll take the damage. Goodbye. Yeah, there really isn't any point in it. It's like the game is 25 years old. Like people play know how, where they want. Yeah, I thought about if I ever wanted to do one of the spinoffs before. That was a question I had to myself like three years ago. I think there was one like there was like I think it was called Destiny. I was deciding if I wanted to try something that was completely custom. Now nah, you tried, you you put in the work. I got confused for a moment, but it's fun. I thought about using Magblast, but it would have been slower in that scenario if chat was curious. When it when it's only one, there's no point. Unless I'm not already there. So let me put away some items. I have way too many on me. So I don't miss any more grinders. So yeah, it's like one of those ones, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like dump on the server. It just, it's not my personal preference. You know, to each their own with what they're looking for for PSO. I like, for me, there is just so many inherent issues with PSO that I, I don't think there is just like one balance patch that would possibly contain everything I would ever want in order for it to behave the way I'd want it to. Like, it just is fundamentally unbalanced. I don't know what you would do when it's so fundamentally geared towards ATP without literally rewriting every single thing about PSO in order to balance it. Like, how, how do you make, like, forces potentially competitive at all in, like, the end game and things like that without making, you know, other weird decisions? Like, it would take a lot of balance changes to go through there. Sonic Team at their best, yeah. It's just kind of weird to me that they scale up defense and HP, and they're like, we're going to scale resist too. And then it's like, but they already don't out damage ATP. That's so unfortunate. Oh, well. The Jehovah Witness types from the other servers are on some demon time. I don't know, I haven't really come across many, to be honest, so I, I don't have an opinion towards it. Okay, now I can hold a power material if we find them later. Let's make another game. Everybody's supersonic racing, chat. I don't have a sense of where we are in the soundtrack. Oh, we still have 20 minutes left. Okay. Get another run of supersonic racing before I have to look up. A I can't believe I, I tabbed three soundtracks in order to listen to them for the stream. And they're we're already almost done. 
<laughs> They're so short. They're so short, chat. I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't look at the overall time. One would have hoped three soundtracks would have covered a potentially two and a half hour stream, but here we are. It'll last until the server time switches, I guess. Right time to start a second server. I'd be more likely to start another game entirely. Seems like better use of time. I mean, it is kind of at the point. I, I agree with you. Like, it's one thing if you, like, you know, you just got a character to 80 and you're kind of going through there. But it's like at this point, like, I have almost every possible end game item. So like, why why would I start another server? I just, so the more time spent, the less time I would want to redo any of that. Like again, it would have to be so fundamentally different from PSO for me to consider it. More from a time spent perspective. Like, ima imagine a world chant where they rebalance phone new worlds so that she could use uh, Excalibur. Imagine how funny that would be. Like, hold on, we're fixing our ATP. Yeah, like, if I'm gonna do it, it has to be so far removed from PSO that it's just kind of like playing like a <laughs> alternate version altogether. That would be maybe the only thing I would consider. But again, it's like one of those things I just don't trust one person to potentially balance all of that consistently. And still have it fun. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's a very tall order. Nice photon crystal. The evade material and the other evade material. Because, I mean, there's all sorts of weird things in, like, the vanilla game that wouldn't necessarily be, like, game-breaking if they altered it. Like, what's going on with Fomoral max stats compared to the rest? It's kind of like if they were to... If you were to base it off of, like, other PSO games, I think I'd be, like, more in tune with it. Like, rebalancing Ravar and stuff like that. Oh, full drop, nice. And definitely things like the Hugh Seal slash... Uh, kill these enemies real quick. Raw Mar in particular are weird. Raw Cast is also really weird. I, I would just... All their stats would have to change. Like, this is pretty much what it comes down to. It, it doesn't really make sense that Fomoral has less MST than Fomar. I, that has never made sense to me. It will, it will never make sense to me. You have PSU in your back pocket. I might try it at some point. I think I'm more likely to start uh, Fantasy Star Zero on stream next time we have a big break. But I've been thinking about PSU. If there's enough interest, I'll give it a shot. But definitely no promises for long-term play. Blackhound Karace with zero slots. Interesting. It says plays on Clementine. Nice. I think that's the PSU server. Gonna force me to play PSU. This is helpful. Oh no. But yeah, I'll do, I'll do zero first. Listen, I just really wanted those Rappies gone. Damage is just so fast. Yeah, like pretty much once the event is over, I would consider doing it next as our big thing. Like if I wanted to switch, once I'm done with Dungeon Drafters, I'd probably play PS0, I think, at that time slot, if I had to guess. I mean, it's, it's like I've played it before, so it's like I know I generally liked it, despite its flaws. Yeah, like I, I played that solo. That was the game I, I brought in car rides growing up. So like I, I've gotten to the end game before a couple times doing the stupid tower. Need to complete one of its quests to hunt certain rares. Two hours. Uh... 
I mean, there are long quests. Two hours sounds like an exaggeration, though. Unless we're talking about, like, one really specific tower quest or something. But in that game, it's more enemy-based. So it, it doesn't really matter what quests you do to hunt it. I guess it just depends on what quest you mean, if there's one that's kind of long. I mean, zero, zero rewards you for grinding, yes. That I'm not going to say no to. But the difference is, is that it's more like... They're kind of like PS3 trophies, I guess the best way I could give an analogy towards it. Where it's like, find like your first rare enemy in each of the dungeons, do certain hunts, hit certain levels, clear certain quests, and then you'll get things that unlock on the account versus the character. So for example, you have the ability to get more than 20 inventory slots uh, by completing certain achievements. So like, that exists. But like, you, I don't remember needing to do very specific quests that were two hours to get anywhere. You could get it in any quest. But as I said before, some quests are longer. I don't think I've ever timed them. But like, just completing the game is like not that long of a run. It, it only really depends on if I want to do the achievements or not. It should be almost as dark o'clock here. When I hear that instrument, I'm just reminded to squeak it in. So that's fine. As I said before, it kind of gives you something to go for, and I, I kind of need that stuff, to be honest. To be real with you, I'm so dead because there's no Gafoes. Oh, didn't get quished. Didn't get squished. Take that. Ooh, didn't realize he was already in the later part of his charge animation. That's unfortunate. So it's like... I mean, like, the way they try to balance it, too, I'm not sure, like, what the meta is. Like, technically, you don't have, like, a stat cap at all. It's more like... Got knocked down as soon as the previous wave died. Oof. No worries, it happens. But I think from that standpoint, it's more of one of those things where... <sighs> oh, oops, my bad. I should have waited. <laughs> I got a little, a little gun happy with spread needle. Finish my thought in just a moment. Let me clear this wave. Yeah, with PS0, it's more like they tried to rebalance the character stats to kind of flow with the race and gender types a little better. So like they greatly nerf Ramar. Ramar doesn't have like super accuracy like he does in this game. And honestly, stuff like that I'm kind of okay with. Like that stuff did not make sense in this game. I like that they added a couple of new classes. I can't speak to their power level compared to other things, but like an example is like Newman Ranger is a thing. So it's nice to be able to mix it up. And where they tried to fix some of the mag feeding and why I'm not really sure what the mag meta is other than like basically oops all power. Uh, since there are no caps, like 100 in power is 100 in ATP. Not in zero, Newman Ranger. What do you mean, not in zero? It 100% is. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to take bets? <laughs> I don't mind earning some money. Newman Ranger was definitely a thing because that was the first class that I chose. Gamba. Fantasy Star Zero Classes. Oh, wait, was it the Hugh Newman? Oh, I might have been confused with Hugh Newman. Oh, you're right. I owe you something later. My bad. <clears throat> I forgot. My bad. I know they added a new Newman one. I thought it was Ranger. We'll give you a photon drop later. But yeah, I mostly stuck to, uh, it wasn't Ramar, it was, uh, 
What did I play in that? I think it was Rawcast, Phonumen. Although it ended up just being a lot of magical signs spam. I'm not sure I like how the meta of Fantasy Star Zero worked out, where I like the concept of specials having like their own unique animation, but like when I played certain characters, like that's literally all they were, was that one special attack charged up over and over. And then I didn't really like how the end game fell for that. I know it was like Magical Sign and Rodeo. I want to say are the two ones I had as the force. And that was like literally it. I almost barely, barely ever bothered to cast other spells. They just didn't feel worth the time. Because the other one just had such a much bigger multiplier. I think it fixed some issues I had, like Shift and not improving MST, for example. Oh, I don't care about Focus, Focus Seal. I, I don't think that should be a thing, honestly. I was not a fan of that in PSO2, to be real with you. Um, oop, rip buffs. But I think from that standpoint, you know, it's still not perfect. Especially not with the Gunblade glitch. The, gun, the Gunblade glitch is hilarious if you've never seen it. It absolutely ruins the game. I don't know many people that did it when I played, because I did play sometimes multiplayer with it, like a really long time ago. But that, that is, like, hilariously broken. You'll see speedrunners use it basically all the time. Like, imagine basically doing normal attacks as fast as you can press the button with no, no timer. The only thing stopping you is you. So you can imagine that leads to some pretty big game imbalance, especially since it's a ranged shot and not melee. Oh, that was a good, that was a good paralysis. I wasn't expecting to get that. Yeah, it's, it's just like one of those things. It's not something you'll casually come into, but like people that know, know. Like, <laughs> just put it that way. Yeah, I think I played one of each. I guess that makes sense. Maybe I, maybe I did the Hunuman. Or, uh, because I thought he... I guess I played him like Ranger because he had a gun basically the whole time and Gunblade. But, uh, yeah. The, like, they, they slightly rebalanced the stats to try to follow some of the norms. And I feel like PSO1's biggest weakness is that they sort of define a norm and then they break it for some characters. And it leads to those characters being generally kind of weak. With the exception of Ramar, who is like way overtuned. For uh, endgame stats, that is. I guess in that game, I also did a lot less weapon swapping. So if I'm used to more of the endgame at PSO in general, I very rarely weapon swapped when I played, even, even on like high difficulty. Because like most of the time, you're a special attack AoE'd anyway. So it's like, why, why would you swap most of the time? Like, weirdly, the only class I had to swap more often with was the Hunter. The Ranger, it was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I was like, yeah, whatever. I guess, guess I'll just use the Bazooka special or whatever. It just didn't matter. I'm like, oh no, I have a minor inconvenience in front of me. Let me just murder it real quick. But there's also not really the concept of me switching to, like, a charge Vulcan. So, like, some of those, like, gatekeeping weapons are out of the way. But at the same time, like when I played PSL Zero, like I played up to like, as I said before, I completed Tower a few times, but I don't, I don't think I really got to experience some of their endgame weapons, despite having multiple characters that got to the highest difficulty, and had beaten story mode highest difficulty. It's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, ah, uh, we're okay. I, I like the little mini events that can happen in them. So for example, you know, you could find like the little mini rappies and stuff like that early on. I thought those were kind of amusing for like enhanced experience. And it kind of made the stages a bit more enjoyable. Kind of reminded me of like monster houses from the uh, Mystery Dungeon games. So again, you just kind of have to come in with a different mindset with it. Like I, if I'm expecting it to be exactly PSO, I, you know, I feel like people are going to be disappointed. Because I think the way they changed it is to try to modernize it, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but not everything is necessarily an upgrade, sadly. Like, I'll give an example. I basically maxed out the mag, and I basically did not bother with mag blasts most of the time, if at all. 
Like, there's... Plus side, there's not really a complicated feeding chart. Downside... I'm not really that excited to get the other bag forms. Well, that is just so consistent. So yeah, I definitely want to revisit this. I'm like, this is not on me. <laughs> I don't got Pew Pew Gun. So it's more kind of like, what do I want out of the game? And I kind of just want like the combo system of this game with like a little bit of enhancements. And it kind of does that. Like it has like, like targeting and strafing. Cause I know I did that with Gunblade, for example. So who knows, if we play the game, I'll have chat choose my first character. As I said before, I played as most characters um, at least most classes. I did I did not, for example, make Humar. <laughs> I, did, I did not play Humar in that game. I did not want to. But I played like Ramar, Ramarl, Rawcast, Fo Newman, Fo Numeral. Played those primarily when I played. I kind of like that I can bring NPCs with me because I played this before. I played a lot of single player of that game. So I like that it, you know, I could just have partners. Even if the partners were not really like high damaging, I'm just like, oh, I have somebody stupid to face tank for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I value this so highly as a force. You have no idea. Just all you have to do is take it to the face. It's fine. I don't need you to do damage or support techs. Just take it in the face. It's fine. Uh oh, we had to change a fortune. Lots of spinners. Annoying. Oh, hello. Guess I'll move into position a little more. So we'll see with it. Yeah, some of those characters, I didn't look at their stat sheets. Like, I don't know how much they touched, like, the equivalency of Hugh Casil, for example. If they brought her accuracy into, like, a reasonable territory. Or if it's still busted and absurd. I mean, funny thing, I don't really have a reason to swap out of this run, because then I just have a higher chance of getting Galatine. So this, this run is pretty... pretty useful. <laughs> I'll be like, oh no, I still get a Galatine chance. He got me. And plus this character needs to level for Red Ring anyway. Mad Nasty. That is a character name. It sounds like I'm at the end of Supersonic. This sounds like credit music. Indeed it is. Well, I already did Sonic Drift. What other... Sonic Racing Shift Up 2002 is on the next soundtrack portion. Shift Up chat. You know, I'm looking this up and I'm like, I don't think it's giving me the right game. Team Sonic Racing is 2019. No, 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 no. No, you specifically have to say Shift Up. Search results. Oh no, is is the soundtrack unavailable? I think this is the first time I have ever seen this. Is there not a specific one for this one? Sonic Riders soonish, what do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Sorry, chat. It's very important we find another OST because we're at the last two minutes of the soundtrack. Does this also... What it... 
Okay, apparently nobody likes their soundtracks. I cannot find them at all. This is so sad. So I have to skip yet another one. Rip. I think we might have to do Sonic Riders. I found like a song on one of them, which is not good enough. Rip. Anyway, let's start the quest. And that was the final song of Sonic R. Minus a little bit of an outro. Guess we'll listen to the last 30 seconds or so. Well, time to Sonic Riders, I guess. And I might as well as open up the other Sonic Riders. Sure. So I guess the other ones are on an awkward platform or something? Rip Sonic card. 155% rare chance, that's crazy. Soundtrack over, chat. Back to NMU3 for me later. What are you looking in new mop up operation? Just XP or. Whatever, I'll freeze them. Heaven Striker? Okay. Well, let me know if you wanted to do some of those. I was hoping to get a Heaven Striker at some point today. Or if not today, tomorrow. At some point, we'll need to do some Heaven Striker runs. Because I am looking for one with a hit percentage. And it should be good there. Arguably, I could bring the one that this character is using and do that. I'm gonna try to get that set, something like that. If you're around tomorrow, ho, Cleave, let's dedicate some time for Heaven Striker then. Wow, I didn't even need to participate in the Dwarf on fight. It was already dead. Soul Charge Arm Chat. Redadoshi dropped. Is Redadoshi used in any uh, Red Ring stuff, just people know. Otherwise, I'm not gonna pick it up. It is used for planning. So hungry for P Wand. Well. Welcome to the endgame grind for forces. Uh, I'll go pick it up then for people that want plating. I personally don't want it. I'm not interested. But if it sells for PDs, I'll give it to people. So I don't think it rolled super well. But if it's plating, it doesn't matter. Um... Ripscape doll. Yeah, I'm kind of at the point where, like, if I do get Psycho Wand, I will probably stop playing the game. Like, I'm honestly at that point. I'm like, do I really want to complete that hunt? That is like the only hunt of interest left for me. I mind helping people get there, but once I have it, I'll be like, cool. Let's <laughs> just retire.
Oh man. Yeah. I mean, like, technically, if I really wanted to, I could buy a cycle one right now in PDs. No questions. After cycle one, I go to challenges? No. Why? They're, they're not really related to each other. I would do challenges before cycle one. It makes farming easier. Cycle one doesn't really enable anything. Challenge runs enable you to do things. Cycle one is more of a I I solo force only kind of rare, where like the S ranks are like, I have demons or hell on demand, and now I can actually get better hunts. So those should be done before the Ubers. Mega rares aren't coming around to just buying at this point. Yeah, I see it. I don't blame you on that one at all. Yeah, cycle wand is when you have like that. Cycle wand and things like Seal J Sword, I feel like when you are truly done with the game. <laughs> like that's that's pretty much it. Though those are not gonna be like your springboard into more hunts. Like those are the end. I, that's why I don't see the point in hunting them. Yeah. Where like grinding out like a Heaven Striker or Excalibur. Depends. If you're going for like max I don't know if it's 100% worth it or not. Really, I guess it just depends on how quickly you end up getting a good one. And whether it's worth your time. But doing those hunts for, like, actual weapons you use all the time. So that way you could clear. Like, having a set of really good Heaven Strikers. Or having, like, a super good Charge Arm. Grinding, like, Box Runs or something like that. Potentially could be worth it, depending on, again, if you get it in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, like Excalibur is kind of like one of those game-changing rares. When you get it, it makes everything else easy. I'm just coming near the group, wherever the group is. I'm just gonna stay here. Ooh, they are really far apart. Yeah, like I got I got one Excalibur with a percentage. So I have like the main one that I can swap around if I need to. Triple paralysis was nice. But I mean, at this point, it's like... Do I even want a sphere? Am I going to play long enough for sphering to be relevant at this point? I thought originally I was going to wait for a good item, and then I'm like... You know what? It's kind of not happening for the most part, unless I want to just dump it directly into Baran's launcher. Which is not a weapon I use in general. He really hit me out of the paralysis. What a jerk. So yeah. That, that's where I kind of see myself winding down with PSO. I, I This may or may not be my last year. I'm not going to be preemptive and say, like, we're done. But honestly, like, I'm not really looking for anything else in the game. I think I've seen basically everything I want to see except for challenge mode. But it's like, do I care if I'm going to save 11 minutes in TTF? Or... Get an 11 minute time versus 12 minute time in TTF? Not really. I, I'm not into the hyper grind. I'm in for the interacting with chat. And like PSO is a medium to do that. But like if chat is not here, I will not usually ever boot up PSO. Like it's just that, that straightforward. Unless somebody in the Discord is requesting a run or somebody is requested outside of the Discord to do it. It's not a game you'll see me playing casually off stream. It was like that for me, maybe the first two years I played. But like, nah, at this point, I'm like, I got a lot of good games I can enjoy. Rather experience some of those. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where like, 
The big thing was just saying, like, you, for me, it was just saying I could beat all the bosses. That's what it was, like, three years ago. Like, oh, I could beat, you know, RT and whatever for the first time ever. And I'm like, yeah, I could do it now. So, like, for me, I'll, I'll move on at some point. It To me, it, at the moment, it feels like the end of the year. Like, I'll have a big celebration and then that's it. And may, maybe I'll come back for holiday stuff. But you won't see me doing any uh, off-holiday stuff. And again, I view that more as an interaction with Twitch. If I'm not streaming, I don't think I would probably go back to it at that point at all. No, no like, private games or stuff like that. Because even compared to, like, last year compared to two years ago... I mean, like, towards the tail end, it picked up a bit more, but I honestly did not touch BSO a lot last year compared to the prior years. Just I got other things in life at that point. Some of them game-related, some of them not. Did he teleport and throw off my freeze trap shooting? What a jerk. Enjoy that freeze trap. Bad Gorons. It's like, it's more one of those things where, like, for me, kind of like what Diz is saying, I have personal goals. Like, I wanted to see what some of the end game was like in PSO. And I, I got to try it a little bit last year. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, it's it's okay. But, like, I don't need it for the most part. There, there's only a couple quests that have made me feel like I really needed the end game stuff. And, like, most of the time, it's just making sure you have, like, your basics. You got demons. You get your charge weapons, you got like sometimes V502, depending on the quest, but even then, it's not needed in a majority of the quests. So it's like, mm, kind of pick and choose. I, I like being able to experiment with the different classes, because like I never got into Rock Cast this high level ever. Like, this is the highest level Rock Cast across all my characters. And you know, I get to say, like, oh, which one did I enjoy at the end game more? And, you know, Rockcast was probably still going to remain up there. I think I had fun with them pretty much throughout. But it's like I've played all the characters at this point. So it's like if I have natural curiosities, I'll be like, okay. Kind of like Hugh New World, where like I kept reading Hugh New World as like this awesome single player class. And then I played it and I'm like... That was a really rough single player experience. I could not disagree more with what people say online. And like, I understand a little bit now what they're talking about, but it's like the ge the raw gear requirement for that to be fun single player is like one of those things that I found very misleading when I was reading stuff online. I'm like, oh yeah, it's fun if you have dark flow. <laughs> I'm like, yes, but. Yeah, it's just like one of those little nonsense things. I'm like, did I think Hugh Neural was easier or more fun solo than Romaro? Hell no. Romaro was ultra free. She literally went in with no rares, no setup, no gear, and she could solo everything in Ultimate. Like, she was by far the easiest single player experience with no items. But like, you can then quantify it from there, like which characters were more fun once you did have items. And I think forces, were really, really easy to gear, but getting them there in the first place does take quite a while, and I don't necessarily like them in a lot of the early areas, like Forest, for example. Drop this briefly. So it's just kind of like that nuance is kind of lost when you read things like the wikis, and that made me curious. That's pretty much what like last year and the year before were about, like challenging the perspective like, just because it's written online doesn't mean it's true. And it doesn't matter if it's from the wiki or not. And granted, the wiki's been improving in quality, in particular last year. So shout out to everybody that moderates the wiki. It is, like, night and day difference how much better it is in 2023, 2024, compared to 2021. It is night and day difference how much better it is with the constant updates and clarifications and quest charts and things of that nature. But, like, ultimately... I think they're starting to go where I was hoping they would go, where they would start writing guides for the characters. And I think they are getting a little better. Like, beginning of last year, not good. The guides were, like, 
hilarious, hilariously contextless. Where like if if I was a brand new player looking at that guide and I saw like 10 S rank weapons as recommended weapons, I like I wouldn't know better. <laughs> and I would grind those out. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's imp oh, I should have used more free straps in this run. But it's just one of those things where, you know, experiencing the game, I now understand why some of those are there. But like I feel it's really misleading to point people to the some of those guides. Like, there's no way a new player is going to have, like, S-Rank Demon, S-Rank Arrest, S-Rank Hell Slicer, S-Rank... And it's like, do you know how many PDs that is? How are they going to get those PDs? <laughs> Just... It's not happening. It's not happening. Crazy. Diz is going to step out for a bit. I might be able to keep Diz alive for the item. Another Galatine chance. So it's just kind of one of those things. And maybe other people that were moderating the wiki felt the same way, because I'm starting to see things like early level versus mid game, late game, etc. Oh, there's no red thing for me to hit now. Disappointing. I don't really want to pop the yellow one. Is there really not a red one near me anywhere? Huh. Disappointing. So we'll start up without Diz on the next run, according to Diz. So somebody wants to take Diz's place for at least a run. We'll go ahead and do it. I don't think we'll do many more runs, as I'm looking to do Phoenix right later. But I'm happy we got to experience a little bit of it. We'll be playing more of this on Sunday after our mainstream game for about three hours. I'll take a lunch break and then I'll come back. We'll do PSO until probably about dinner time. And then I'll, I'll take my own hour, personal hours after that. So no super late night gaming on Sunday, especially since I got work. With uh, the shift in the work schedule, I definitely don't want to do late night Sundays. It's a big mistake. Yeah, we're going to play the dodging mini game. I'm keeping my eye on the graphics near the other players to see if they're popping Mag Blast or not. I've had it for a while. Ooh, they're hit kind of awkwardly. Might need a Mag Blast to fix. Ooh, so close. Okay, I'll just wait here. Don't you summon spinners? Move to your next phase, you jerk. I already popped you. Rude. Regenning some HP. So rude. Oh, I tried breaking the cutscene. I tried, chat. <laughs> I was slightly too slow. Slightly too slow. I tried, though. It's a valiant effort. Hmm, no Galatine. Nice level up, though. I'll take my 60,000. Raygun with 40 hit, no special. What a shame. Could have been useful. Yeah, put these two armors away, and I'll make another game. Hell. Nice name. Siggy King. So we'll do at least one more of these. Just say that we went for these hardcore. 
then we might wrap wrap up with a TTF or RT or something. We still have like another 40 minutes or so before I want to pause PSO. Put these in the share bank actually. There we go. There's the PD. <laughs> Bet paid. Take some of these. Okay. So if there's nobody that wants to take this place, we'll start up in a moment or so. So material-wise, didn't pick up too many crazy things. This character is pretty close to leveling, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, they're at the danger zone of HP, which I'm not thrilled about. So we'll give chat a moment or so if they want to hop in. We're in block two, King. Make sure to say something in the chat. Make sure that we don't leave you behind. So I'm thinking what we'll do after we do this, to try to be fair to um, in Parameter, we'll do a Red ID run for a Rambling May. Since uh, Red ID, I think would be pretty strong, and I would just be switching from cast to cast. So I don't see anybody hopping in, so we'll do last, one last one of these. So we'll do at least one Red ID cast. We'll do a lot more of those, I think, tomorrow. And then we'll end with maybe a TTF on Red ID as well. Another skip doll. Gladly pick that up. What am I getting? Uh, am I getting fireballed? Oh, oh, I'm getting rapid. I was like, what happened? What interrupted my shot there? It made me uh, not combo. It makes more sense. The undead rapid was fighting me. Yeah, I mean, I think otherwise in terms of personal goals, like, is there anything I wanted to do before I would quote-unquote retire from PSO? I guess it would be doing uh, all forms of the Claw War in Episode 2, just to skip the platform. I did the enemy skip already. I did that before I did the one with the weapon itself. So I guess that's on the bucket list of PSO. Uh, challenge mode. We'll do it at some point. I definitely felt burned out after December, because I did too many sessions of PSO. I'm not sure where to put that in. I guess that just depends on group interest. And after that, I guess it would be... Hmm. Not honestly sure other than that. This, uh, I guess uh, cave warping, I think, is the other thing I was thinking of in TTF. I just wanted to learn how to do that and show it on stream. I think that's about it, though. That is an ultra deadass star. Ooh, they got stopped so far away from me. Nice. Charge denied. Oh, 
probably gradually fix my synchro. I can actually do damage. Wow, I don't even care if he doesn't get that much more ATP between now and max. He's already doing exactly how much damage I want to do. Thanks to shift down. That's kind of nice. Uh, that was not meant to be a freeze trap, but we'll take it. That was meant to be a fire trap for free damage, but whatever. Goodbye, Astar. I meant to tune around and shoot that, but that's okay. Now they're ready to do a she has dropped. I guess I'll pick it up. Oh, I can. I'm out of room. Unfortunate. Oh, I got lasered. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And the charging one is the only one I didn't paralyze. That's also unfortunate. I'm getting bullied. Special accuracy, please. I guess I should do a, something for spread needles later. Oh, you know it would be sick, actually, for tomorrow. I just thought of something. Yellow ID... Endless. With this character, specifically. Oh, that'll be so disgusting. 155 rare on spread needles and V101s, Excaliburs. Disgusting. Yeah, we're, we're doing that tomorrow for sure. We're bringing back the Endless. And again, this character is getting leveled up, so he's, the no damage challenge is going to be way easier. And in about 8 levels, it'll be hilariously easy. Cause he's not, yeah, he's using Ranger Wall, so he could get way more defense. PW3 is an RV RVR again? Oh no. Have we found the real quest we're gonna end the stream on? <laughs> is, is it gonna be, is it gonna be PW3 4 man? Yeah, gotta get those group red boxes, exactly. Like, listen. Just play English 1 multiplayer. Get that extra XP. Lose, like, literally no time. Oh, how are they not targetable to me? How is that even possible? That's rude. Uh-oh. Uh, I gotta go towards the force. One is paralyzed. Oh, I'm so Roku. Yeah, shut down one of them at least. The other one is just like... Oh, the other one got sniped by the demons. That makes sense. Lots of red rings. I expect a ton of red rings as we play. The rare bonus right now is like the time we should do it. So yeah, I think we'll do... Okay, so here's the plan. We, we have to get in our cheeky PW3 runs because it's funny. And then red ring... I'm assuming people still need them. They're very good. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to do Red Rings a lot, potentially, tomorrow. So if you are interested in Red Rings, tomorrow is definitely your day. 
But we're going to be mixing it up a little bit, so it's not just pure oops all red ring. See, I'll be grinding so much TTF anyway at some point that I'll probably get the last three that I need. So I'm not in like an ultra rush. I have enough for most of my rangers. I have like 20 plus levels per character before I need to worry about it. And granted, I'm not guaranteed to get it in 20 levels, but odds aren't exactly horrible either. There we go. Nice little freeze for them. Oh, I tried paralyzing them. Unfortunate. You know what? I think I'll just use Heaven Striker in this scenario. It's just so much easier to hit the bird with the Heaven Striker. I don't know why I'm messing with Charge Vulcans there. Oh, Charge Vulcan. Every time I try to find a use for you, I just get annoyed and swap what I'm doing. Definitely want that PD for sure. Build the Marissa. Pretty blue little Ultra Den. Let's take that PD up. So even though I didn't get crazy rare so far, it's not too bad. Welcome, Luke. Hope you're doing well. Got about another half hour to go of the stream. Then we're switching games. Hopefully you've been well. I don't know why I thought I would be able to trap during that. That's okay. Ooh. Yeah, I really need a spread needle with a percentage at some point. That'd be nice. That way I can actually use the character as intended. So yeah, we'll do at least one episode two run. That takes about, like, what, 10 minutes? So we'll do two red ID ones. And then we'll do a joke PW3 or two to end the, end the session. Then what CM we do? I'm, I'm planning to do one episode one, one episode two on stream at some point. I'm thinking it'll... Realistically, I don't think I could start it and complete it before Easter, if I'm being honest. After Easter, between Easter and Anniversary, I think it'd be doable to complete. I'm hoping it's the phone who was using DP. I wish. Can you imagine if this was Grants? How much better Grants would be? Nice spot on Crystal. The Grants of the Gods. Down real hard. Nice. Oh, the gun is just so good. One day I'll be able to pick items properly. And yeah, nothing of interest dropped from them. Yeah, I don't want to waste all my time picking up every grinder, but I need to pick up more grinders. Oh, that's not where I thought he was going to teleport. He got me on that one. Damage is just so high. Oh, it's not the wave I thought we were on. Whoops. I mean, I'll take it. The freeze traps still kind of work there. But I was thinking it was uh, center mass, not uh, where they were. He's dying.
Mm, throw down a couple fire traps just because. Wow, we had so much stack damage that Marissa still died instantly. That's very silly. I think as long as I do some spread damage, it's kind of more beneficial due to the fact that there's so many force, force damage types kind of occurring. Uh, this is the one that could be kind of annoying. Let me, uh, have the striker you actually. Speed you up a little bit. And you're already dead. Nice, double paralysis. Chat's got this, I'm gonna move on. Got this. Cover my dime mate. Three freeze traps left, okay. Got him on. So sadly I'm gonna Probably level on the boss as opposed to a future quest. Oof, that 94% special was a lie. So yeah, we'll unlock our Excaliburs at some point, maybe. I could do that as part of like a bonus game challenge in the future. Probably go back and finish Evo while unlocking Excal or something. I just don't have a lot of limiters to unlock while I do it, which is sad. That is not what I wanted to do, but we'll take it, I guess. I forgot the zoo was on that side. For some reason, I thought it was on the other side. Uh, I don't think I need freeze traps for the rest of the rooms. It just ends in single Gurdabulu, so I definitely don't need it for Funnel Wave. It's more of a what do I find more convenient. Raffi, please stop blocking bullets. Yeah, that kind of worked. I thought I was lined up with him, not the not the uh, not the Yowie. It's unfortunate. Okay, so we shut them down. So it just makes paralysis or not paralysis. It makes demons easy, and should be GG here. All right, so I'm gonna keep the Heaven Striker on. Love to grind this more. Just holding too many items. Unfortunate. So I think I do actually swap into basically everything that I have, except for Cannon Rouge. Probably remove it for this run going forward. But given that I'm going to swap out of him regardless anyway, there's no point to removing it now. Yeah, 41,000 I'm definitely going to level. So sadly, not at any point did we see the rare boss, but... I mean, I'd like another Galatine. I'll take that over unlocking Excalibur, honestly, at this point, for some use cases. Yet another time, no red spawn near me. Hmm. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Speed it up a little there. So yeah, let's do one red ID run episode two. Then we'll do TTF maybe right after that. And then we'll do a joke PW3. So if we go a little past eight, it's not the end of the world. But I, I definitely don't want to do any serious runs after eight o'clock. We better be wrapping one up is what I'm saying. Uh, I need to be like roughly here-ish. Should be good enough. So I'll have to move slightly just due to the spinners, so I guess I should move upwards so I can dodge downwards against spinners. So that's maybe maybe the meta. <laughs> oh, heard somebody get mag blast. Do 
two people with Mag Blast. There we go. <laughs> See that? I'm like, I'm like, I just had to guess. I'm like, hmm, what do I feel in my heart the other players used? Okay. Oh, did that not chain it properly? Why did I only get 41 there? It didn't chain with Hellcleave for some reason. That's weird. Over here. Yeah, my screen it didn't sync up sadly. Take a safety heal. Goodbye. Weird. <laughs> my screen, poor health leave is running around with level 30. Yeah. It looks like I'm like saluting in Parameter's character. <laughs> like, it, it even looks like Hellcleave is saluting also as well. Oh, level up, but no rare items. Unfortunate. Well, I'm getting closer to max ATP with the character. So that's always nice. So I will gladly take that money. Defense material, sure, I'll pick that up. Sadly, nothing else of interest dropped. So yeah, I'll switch over to Red ID, then we'll do... Red ID Episode 2. Red ID TTF, because obligatory. And then Joke PW3 to end the stream. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's the run order. It's solved. Do I just hold these materials for next time? I think I do. Yeah, I don't think I change anything here at all. The only thing I'm going to do is put away... Uh, what's it called? sword because I don't need that and then I can retrieve his frozen shooter instead for next time because I definitely don't need frozen shooter in that run sort our inventory real quick the way I have oh that's way too many escape dolls okay no 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 we we need to put away at least two four is more than enough honestly let's go down to three so I can hold more items so I have every material and photon drops. That should cover most things when I go to play them next time. Without me needing to like cycle through inventory. Technically I could put my grinders in those slots if I wanted to. I might do that for try grinder. We'll see. So I'm gonna do at hand in the quest. I'm gonna see bank one. I think we got a lot of episode four in. It's time to get some quest variety right at the tail end. And then I'll, I'll leave it to Hellcleave for the Joke PW3. Who should make the Joke PW3 game? Should it should it be Sky for uh, I Hit Caliber? Should it be Red ID? We got, we got to plot in advance because it's not going to be a very long run either way. Red gives better monster drops. That's fair. And it sounds like it's just red all the way through then. So we'll start with some episode two for people that want to get a rambling bang. Bob your head chat. So we do have a free slot unless this is available again. So I think this character has got the accuracy shield, smart link, heaven arms. Pretty solid. Do I want anything for this? Oh. Oh, maybe it's my Fomarl that has my uh, Excalibur in that I think about it. Really unfortunate. Hmm. I really need to get that off of her at some point, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I'll do backup of Vivian, maybe. Yeah, I got the charge gun here. Okay, let's do something like this. 
Why, hello there, music. So we'll give one final call for people looking to get some Rambling Maze. So I got a Charge Mech Gun, Rainbow Baton, Last Swan, Vivian, Gunyer. I got my bases covered, I think. I'll start with Last Swan, though. So final call for people looking to hop in. We are indeed still on Sonic OSTs. Oh, hold on, chat. I think we got we got a special guest visitor, chat. Let's look up the stats. This person is on 643 channels simultaneously. Let's give them a salute. Why don't you go to... <laughs> One of the other 640-something channels you're in. Goodbye, bot. Listen, chat. I mean, if they if they just want to put zeros in their name, I'm going to notice it every once in a while. I'll be like, mm-mm, that's not a real person. Get out of our channel. <laughs> okay. So it seems like nobody is joining. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick run. Oh yeah, this character's got the god technique I got to put away later. We'll do maximum attack E. Bring in the loud gun for the Rappies, that's true. So after this, we'll do a TTF into PW3. I think that should be about the right amount of time. And then from there, we're gonna transition over to Phoenix Ray. Ha, huh. I didn't fall for that. I knew somebody would go right. I'm like, no, stand your ground. <laughs> I will remember one day VR is left. Goodbye, uh, Blue Lee. Parish. Got my weed whacker out, chat. Uh, I think I'd like everybody to chill for a second. Ah, oh, that's right. There is another cast here. I was wondering what was happening at first. I mean, I guess we don't technically need shift to... Damage is good enough. Although, sadly, I wish Last Swan could trap shoot. So sad. That's why I have my mech guns. Weirdly, my mech gun is my trap shoot gun. It, it, it makes me feel uncomfortable that that's a true statement. But at least I can hit it like that. I'm like vaguely catching the lyrics. What a world Sonic lives in, chat. Let chat kill the Indie Belros, or not Indie Belros, El Rappies for uh, rambling my chances. It's not like I can do anything as the hunter. Like, why would I bother? Uh, let's focus these. Ooh, her accuracy is just so sick. Am I seriously out of range by like a step? Yeah, I am. It's so sad. Oh. I guess hell is being used. I'm like expecting to have some opportunity to hit them. Like foolish me. Dodge this. Yeah, see like when I go to trap shoot, it just doesn't. Yeah, maybe I'm too short. It's possible. I'll try stretching her out later. I'll try one more time on a basic crowd. Yeah, see, it doesn't... It doesn't go off. I'll try to make her taller. I mean, it's a good point. I do, I do know there's kind of those weird nuances. Because if that can trap shoot... Yeah, if, if I just have to make her taller to trap shoot, that's fine. Then I'll, I'll do it. Because I would love to have this gun trap shoot. This would make my life way easier. 
Because otherwise I was using, uh, what was it? Red handgun. It's a little iffy. All right, so I'll just make her taller. Maybe that'll get rid of the iffy part. <clears throat> it's probably why I thought I couldn't do it because it's like, I clearly did it once, but it's not, it's not as consistent as it was with the mech gun. Yeah, that's good to know. Today I learned. So I'll just stretch her just a little bit taller. See if that resolves the inconsistency that we saw there. Delete you real quick. Delete you real quick. <laughs> I go to freeze things, but they're already frozen, so it's like it's fine. Just deal with it. I got them in a position that I like them in. Uh... Oh, confused trap. By the enemies. Uh... I thought about if I wanted to trap shoot, and I'm like, ah, eh, I might as well ask. You put this back on the group. Girder the lily. Goodbye, lily. Go to trap shoot. They all die in one shot. Yeah, that seems like episode two. <laughs> I tried. There was a genuine attempt to quadra freeze the, the Gurdabulus. It just didn't matter because it's episode two. Guess I'll go this way. real quick. Oops, camera. I guess I got too close to the wall. It started rotating when I didn't want it to. Threw me off a little bit. We'll rejoin. Well, we got to do probably literally just two more runs, so you're more than welcome to join in. We'll be doing a lot more games on Sunday. This is more of a makeup game for Friday. Alright, that time I just missed. I had nothing to do with trap shoot height. <laughs> I, I tried, I tried. <laughs> it didn't matter though. Mmm, I don't know. It just didn't connect to the server. It's. Nothing, nothing I changed mattered, so I decided to just stop the stream. Oh, I was so lucky there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually in trouble here, let me move. Okay, the other one wasn't focusing me, I thought the other one was gonna focus me, that's fine. Oh, Rappies. Oh, I was trying to base it off the radar purely. I saw what was being targeted over there, and I decided to give up on it. So that was a pretty fast run. Hell, hell does that to a run. So we're just gonna continue forward. I just need to get Dark Flow. I'm not doing the boss. Screw the boss. So let's go ahead and go to TTF. <laughs> so if anybody wants to hop in on the TTF, I believe Diz was looking for inter interest in rejoining. So let's do Red ID TTF, because who cares, why not? The only thing I just need is Lavis Cannon Dark Flow, I guess. I guess I can also pull out my vices over the mech gun. And put away my Vivian, because there's pretty much nowhere I'd use it in the run, to be honest. 
Uh... Put away that god technique from earlier. Hmm. Lovis Cannon. Dark Flow. I think that's all I need. I Well, I guess I could do the Vice, as I said before. So my goal is to just injure myself <laughs> by any means necessary. If I feel like I can't get a hit in, we have Lava's Cannon. So yeah, this will be the last serious run of the night before we do some PW3 into some Phoenix Ryan. So I'm happy this character is getting experience. I, I I definitely feel like this is a character I wanted to love, and she just had like such a difficulty of getting kills until she hit a certain ATP threshold, because her defense is low, her accuracy's fine, but it's like, hmm. It was uh, interesting. Now she's at least basically where Ramar is, so it's not terrible. And she still has more to climb to help make her more distinguished. And definitely the accuracy shield made a big difference too, because now I can use Dark Flow more consistently in multiplayer without it being like a 90 hit monstrosity or something like that. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna go for special first no matter what there, I wanted to drain HP. Hmm. Good rainbow baton. I don't think they're gonna get close enough for me to gun here. And not really. Let's injure ourselves a little bit more. I don't know. No. This is where I gotta learn Dark Flow. This should be enough. I know it's at least 10%, but I, I don't remember. Is it 12? So sad. <laughs> Rip. So I can vice at least to wound myself on the dragon. I just can't immediately walk up Dark Flow. Fortunately, we have somebody with Cannon Rouge, so it's not a big deal. Actually, that'll kill me. Oh, I was not in front of it this time. Yay me. Slightly better positioning. Do I still have too much HP? Seriously. Uh, we need to do this twice just to make sure I can Dark Flow. Regen a little bit of HP. Get used to the damage. Do a little twirl. Run. <laughs> now I can regen some HP and that's fine. Hmm. Eh, don't need anything there. Let's see. What do I feel like using for the rest up until Worm Boss? Oh, I don't have my uh, Jaya. Oops. Thought I equipped that earlier. Well, I mean, Charge Gun Year is okay. I would have preferred Jaya for sure. Which of us deals with all up? Um, I don't recall which player slot if it's not player. It's definitely not me. <laughs> I'll, I'll call not me. It'll probably be... You, if I had to guess? It's probably you. I'm assuming Hellcleave is the foam oral. And, and Hellcleave doesn't bring Excalibur. I know the Hellcleave meta. I won't have to worry about that at all. Nah. Oh, you have Excal now? Nice, nice. Let's tell them to get out of my way real quick. Well, I am definitely not staying behind. Yeah, once you get like another few levels, it's fine. Hoping for a rare slime, but you know. If not, time to just kill them. There's no turning back. Rich will never catch. You can't find that. Wonders you can't. 
I mean, I guess I'll see if I could get away with Dark Blow, but it probably doesn't matter. Oh, I did get invincibility. Interesting. Uh, it wasn't worth swapping. Should have done that before. Did I seriously regen enough that I can't do it? That is so sad. I need more HP so that doesn't happen. <laughs> and I got rested again. No, I just want to use Dark Flow. So sad. I thought about Gunnir, but I'm like, eh. Eh. If there were two hunters, I would have done it. Hmm. I guess I'll stick to charge mech gun here for the safer kill. Oh, Hellcleave didn't walk forward enough. Rip. <laughs> Leap in red Sinnoh. Hmm. I guess I could go for the not fast Baran's clear. Just thinking about it. Like, I could confuse kill them. I think maybe I'll just stick with- I'll stay- I'll stay with the group this time. I'll let chat decide. Unless you really want me to confuse trap them. Only killing red? That's fair. Yeah, let's go. I'm just gonna freeze them solid because I can. I got nothing better to do. Okay. I could teleport, but I'll probably be there about the same amount of time because I'm pretty far forward. Just let me uh, set up a telepipe for the group. Telepipe up. Uh, time to lava scan in a lot. Although, I guess there's pretty good odds it's going to attack regardless. Oh, I actually got invincibility? Nice. Too bad it- <laughs> Too bad it triggers during this long cutscene. Man, if only they paused the timers here. It's so rude that it ticks. Turn in our HP again. Oh, that's right. It shoots a projectile. I always forget because I can't see it most of the time. My bad. I'm just looking to drain my HP a little more. Do it. Oh, you're doing it from menu. You're not doing it from the techniques. Uh, I gotta heal. We gotta teach Hellcleave to use the tech the technique menu, not because all you do is just mash A. Oh, you are doing it from text? Aw. This should be easy spam. I'm assuming you don't mean the uh the quick menu and you mean like the actual technique menu. Uh okay. <laughs> I, I need this boss to end at some point. You're gonna trade my trimates. Please kill the boss. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna shoot it so that way it's slower. Okay, 
Okay, take out the red switch. That's fine. Yeah, there is no way I was going to be able to dark flow with it going that long. I'll do... I guess I'll judge on what it does. It'd be smart to do Vice, and then I can Emergency Trimate if it doesn't give me what I need. And it's targeting me directly. Cute. Oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, what menu is this? Is it this one? It's here somewhere. No. Oh, it is F3. I thought I hit that. Why doesn't it do anything? Oh, because I don't have text. That's why. <laughs> Didn't have Vita 1. Help leave drilling. It's fine. Yeah, because with that one, you don't need, you just literally mash it. There's no timing. Just all mashing. Okay. So red ID, I think it's still worth uh, going for... What's it called? Uh, the Sorcerer, just to say we went for Psycho Wand. Did we hit the end of the Sonic soundtrack? I don't hear any music. Rip Sonic. Woo! There we go. Oh. Uh... Yeah, let me do this. So I'm gonna go to the teleport, and then I'm gonna put on another soundtrack. I can't believe we went through like four Sonic soundtracks in one session, that's crazy. Craziness, John. Okay. Focus is back on the run. That music did delay me quite a bit, unfortunately. I saw so I saw the rare thing pop up. I was like, no way. At this point, I should probably just warp. I guess it doesn't matter. I probably should have warped. Anyway, time to last one. I definitely don't want a dark flow. Unless I'm feeling masochistic and getting through spinner phase. Ideally, I would drain my HP when I think we're in the second phaser or second part of the spinner phase. So, like, once we get through one cycle, I could drain my HP, maybe. I think it's just a little too... It's a little too crazy to leave myself low HP. I'm not that comfortable that with Hunter monolith? yet. Indeed, it is a monolith. Like, here, arguably, I might be able to lava cannon snipe things. Just want a little extra distance. <laughs> and it misses, of course. I mean, I could try to go for it. I was gonna say, do you mind hitting me once? Hit me once? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Don't mind me, no HP. Just there we go. Mission accomplished. I did it, chat. Right, so all we're gonna do is just blitz this thing. Oh yeah, you like my no visible hell? Yeah, that was like, I was trying to do HP damage on the fly. I'm glad I didn't underest or misjudge the damage. That would have been bad for me. Really? I'm gonna go this way. Over here. Huh? Why couldn't I revive? That was weird. Well, maybe they already got revive. I definitely went to throw the moon atomizer, which should be that one, but it didn't do anything. Unless I misassigned it. Um, I'm just gonna take damage here. I'll go this way slightly.
There we go. Saw that Heaven Striker 2k, definitely sped some stuff up. Guess I can walk a little bit forward with Mech Gun. I guess. We'll take a step forward and then last one. Hmm. Yeah, and then we'll hover Mech Gun if I could get away with it. I could get away with it there. Really? It's gonna be one of those games. Just I just don't get to see falls. Cool. Thanks, game. Okay, thousand damage. That's not too bad. It's on Hellcleave. Hellcleave can survive. Evan Striker said no, apparently. Okay, so that's the last serious run. So let's do one last unserious run. <laughs> and that'll be it for PSO. Thousand XP, not bad. Oh, this character's just gotta keep getting levels, chance. So close. She's already pretty fun to play. Now that she's above 1200, it feels like I'm not constantly comparing her to my Rangers and just going, like, why would I play this character? The Rangers are stronger. Now I'm like, okay, I got okay traps. My accuracy's mostly fine. I'm basically a Ranger, but. I can use Dark Flow. That's always nice. Last one makes me feel happy, Chan. The range of it is quite absurd. There's sadly not much of interest drop there. So I'm gonna put away my Dark Flow Lavis Cannon. Don't need those on me. And then I'll make a... I was about to say Perfect World. Why well, should just fear the LS, maybe. It, I do use it a lot. It is one of my favorite guns. It's so sad, Chad. I have a lot of this cannon with hit. Like, what is the purpose of this weapon? Other than to drain HP. I'm never going to use it for ATP. It's so sad. It's there, though. Sure, I'll just feed moon atomizers to my mag. Why not? I'm not even gonna bother with hell. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm just gonna pew pew freeze trap everything. And if we don't even do anguish, then it super doesn't matter of me not bringing in hell. I'll think about it. Uh, I feel a little spicy. Let's 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 put it on anguish one. It's a little bit. <laughs> Gotta boost that rare rate even higher. There we go. 155% rare rate is hilarious. So yeah, technically I could be doing it has more world threes, I guess. Off stream. Maybe. I would like to level her more. Obviously 180 is a big threshold for Red Ring, but just in general, she's not quite at max stats. So being able to remove, you know, one of these abilities and fix her materials would be nice at some point. Almost called it Perfect World 3. It was close. I'm gonna hard grind TTF for a bunch of levels? Maybe. Miss, 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 miss. There we go. Uh, 
I'd like to freeze trap these little annoying spinners. So that way people with hell can actually kill. Oh, you got defense down? GG, it's over. I'm absolutely killing you with this character. Her damage is decent. Okay. I'm gonna wait for everybody. I'll shoot the trap. Insta death, nice. So it looks like Diz will be the last person there. So once we see Diz there, box in time. There we go. Goodbye, boxes. Mission basically accomplished. I mean, I guess I might as well just kill the squid. I'm assuming they drop something decent. Get my revenge on Morphos real quick. Don't mind me. Base left about here. Oh, Chattery killed it. I'm running, chat. I'm checking the other boxes. I'm going in. That's fun. Yeah, that worked. And run is over. Round of applause, chat. See, that was worth almost 100 XP a second. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love in single player, you can make it like 160% XP. And if you're using hell, you basically lose no time at all. It's so dumb. Like, you might miss a shot every now and then, and then it slows it down. But it's like, in terms of that raw XP, that is one of the weirdly, weirdly easy to do quests with like no... No worries. It's so easy to remember compared to other quests. Especially just freeze trap randomly in the corner. Morphos are the least threatening thing on Anguish, funny enough. The squid are the problem. They just don't want the squid going free. Okay, chat. So I think that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed some PSO. So we'll talk a little bit more about what to expect with PSO again. I think we mentioned it during the stream a couple times. But uh, we'll be seeing you tomorrow at some point. So check out the Discord if you haven't already. To get the latest times if I happen to be experiencing a delay or whatever. But let's go to Let's Chat. So from the standpoint of PSO, uh, somebody got a 60 hit Gear Assault. That's that's pretty good. That's that's a high hit percentage, chat. So I would say mission accomplished there. We mostly just got a few PDs. I got to level up characters that I that are considered, I guess, more of my ults at this point versus the primaries. So forces, 180 plus primaries, rangers, secondaries, hunters, unloved. So <laughs> We're slowly we're slowly playing a little bit of the other classes and relearning how to play them. We're in some cases using them for the first time in different weird situations. So I learned today I gotta make my Huka seal taller and hopefully that'll remove her issue with Last Swan. Um, I don't seem to experience that issue very often, if at all, with the mech gun. So hopefully that height change will make it a bit different. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I, I think overall. Hope you had a good time. We'll be moving on to a different game, though. So for people that just stuck around for PSO, uh, that will be it for the day. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again next time.